What started off as a march by thousands of IFP members to Shaw House in the Johannesburg city center, which at the time was home to the ANC after it was unbanned, to raise their concerns over the ANC's disregard of traditional authorities and the power of Zulu chiefs in March of 1994. The situation soon turned deadly. The IFP members clashed with ANC security guards at Shell House. 19 people were killed. These soldiers are shooting us here. If the police can search this uh, building, definitely the, 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 the weapons which were used, you will find them here. Now the police, they will even show, you the, show them the guy who was also shooting at our members. They, they, they have done nothing and they cannot die. So the ANC security guards at Shell House claim they started shooting following a tip-off that the IFP marchers were planning to attack the building. Well, shots were fired on uh, Inkata people marching towards uh, the Shell House uh, and shots were fired from various buildings surrounding Shell House. Um, uh, well, some of the shots uh, struck the windows at Shell House and vice versa. So uh, you can't really say what actually happened, who started the shooting. The shooting, a month before South Africa's first democratic elections, threatened to send the country into a violent tailspin. I gave instructions to our security that if they attack the house, please, you must protect that house. My reaction is that of absolute shock, because in the first place the president I should have said so, you know, long ago. If it was, if this was actually uh, resulted, uh, I mean, the killing of people resulted uh, from his direct instructions. This was at the height of the political violence between members of the IFP who resided in hostels and township residents led by the ANC. The tensions between the ANC and the IFP, which had begun in the 1980s in KwaZulu Natal had escalated and spread to other provinces by the 1990s, including Gauteng. Eventually, peace was restored. Almost 30 years later, the widows of the men who died at Shell House say they feel forgotten as victims of political violence and blame government for abandoning them. These women from Ulundi in KwaZulu-Natal have struggled to raise their children after their husbands' deaths. He died during political violence. I was just new in marriage. Life then changed for the worst, even though his children do not know him as he died while they were young. It became difficult for me and some people assisted us. We are now planting vegetables to support our families and we got a child support grant. But our situation is very bad. Commentators say the political situation was fraught at the time, with accusing fingers being pointed at the IFP and its leader, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, for the violence in the run-up to the 1994 elections. It was an era where a lot of people were being um, killed on what at the time was referred to as black-on-black -black violence. At the same time, I think it was a period in which uh, different political parties had to show their own strength. But he's cautioned people to be careful not to apportion all the blame for the violence on one man. Unfortunately, uh, with all the things that uh, the late Prince Mangosutu Butelezi did, there will always be this cloud that um, even others will be celebrating his life. You still have people who will be saying that um, we have lost breadwinners, we have lost um, relatives, we have lost uh, friends. He says for the legacy of Prince Butelezi to live on, the IFP now will need to rebrand itself afresh and seek reconciliation with the ANC. Mr. Savisa and the entire leadership of the IFP in my view, have a very, very huge task of ensuring that they build a strong IFP which has to live for many, many other years to come. The Nugent Commission of Inquiry, which was set up 
to find out who was to be held responsible for the massacre. They concluded that the shooting by the ANC guards on the IFP members was unjustified. At least 50 people died in the Johannesburg CBD on that fateful day on March the 28th. 19 of them were the IFP members. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.